Um, I'm Lori Radkowitz. Okay. I grew up, I was Lori Jones, and I live about five miles in, west of here. And so I went to Spring Place Elementary School, and I was friends with the daughter, or one of the daughters of the older caretakers. Oh. And so, um, so it's like one summer day, I come over to play with Sandra, and so uh, her mother allowed us to go into the house. And we were old enough to know that you don't touch anything, you don't bother, we don't lay on the beds, mm -hmm. we don't touch anything. We were old enough to know that. But we were allowed to go into the house. And so, of course, we're giggly girls. We start running and we're chasing each other up and down the steps and there's nobody. There's there's no visitors. It was kind of you know early-ish in the morning. Um, it was a very very quiet day. Her mother and dad were. I mean, her dad was. I don't know what he was doing, but her mom was in the house, in their house. And so we we got probably a little bit rowdy, and we were on the second floor uh, in the bedroom. That's the east bedroom on the second floor. So okay. we're laughing, we're having a good time, we're giggling, and we're standing there in that bedroom, and we didn't we didn't slam <coughs> doors. You know, we were very careful, and we're just kind of standing there giggling, catching our breath, and we hear a boom, and it's not a boom from outside. Uh -huh. It's a boom from inside the house on the first floor. It's not a door slamming because a door couldn't slam that loud. Mm -hmm. It was just a boom. It was. It took us because we weren't thinking scary. You know, we weren't yeah. being. Yeah. That wasn't on your mind. No, no. Yeah. We were having a good time. We were running around. So the boom was. It, it, it just. It just. I can't explain it. Like shake the foundation, sort of. Shook us. Yeah. But not shook the your, house. Yeah. It shook us. It was. It was like. Some of them was getting our attention to stop doing whatever it was we were doing. They didn't, whatever it was, did not like it <laughs> at all. And it scared us so bad. We just froze. And she, I mean, she grew up here. Uh -huh. It scared her. It scared me. We flew down those stairs and out the back door. And we were just, I don't even remember what happened after that. I was, we were in such a panic yeah. that. And it was years before I went in ever again. Yeah. And I certainly didn't go, I didn't come back over and play or anything. Yeah. <laughs> but I've heard people say, like what you said before, like they'll hear a boom that sort of goes through your core yeah. and, and other places. So yeah. there's she, something to that. I just don't know what it is. Yeah. And, and it was, she She looked at me, because I was like, what's the hat? You know, it scared me. But she, who lived here, had so much terror in her face. Mm -hmm. That scared me. Because I yeah. well, apparently, and we just took off. And we apparently just, she's never heard it yeah, before, and yeah. she stays here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank my you for your story. story. It's my little supernatural. <laughs>
Talks about the Moravians. Saying that that table was built with a hammer and chisel. <laughs> oh, how pretty! Wow. Uh, 
all the furniture in the house is period. Right. It's all early 1800s, you know, uh, is donated, but uh, this is the oldest piece wow. that we have. Man. Yeah. That's wild. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the well is filled in now. It's out inside you. Know, there's a there spring at the low where y'all park at the bottom of the hill. If you come back in the daylight, you can walk down there. But they, they, they got the water. He would send the slaves, you know, the day the thing to go get water out of the, the spring to bring up to the big house. Very labor intensive back then for like you had to have just so much firewood in fireplaces too. Oh, no. So much wood. He had um, almost a hundred slaves that he had to support on the plantation too, with that you know houses and fireplaces for them too. A big kitchen outside, so a lot of firewood. He had 95 other buildings besides the, the big house. The largest plantation in the whole Cherokee Nation. They were like in today's standards, multi-millionaire. Been, uh, about 800 acres, right? Yeah, about 800 acres, yeah. He was living like gone with the wind, you know, this was like uh, Tara before uh, the Civil War. Here to the top. <laughs> yeah. 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 The low ceilings, this would be the children's area. And uh, the shape. Oh, oh my gosh. So the story on the beds, uh, my daughter left me in charge so I can tell her story. I'm not as happy as she is, but no. Uh, of course, the, the rope underneath is kind of your box running, and then they would use these tools to do a tightening process to tighten ropes. And that's oh. in our expression, you can sleep tight. Uh, oh. And then, of course, the, the mattress itself is filled with hay and husks, and uh, those will attract little critters. And so that's where we get the expression, don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, okay. So it's kind of an old old expression of things. So well, she saw the girls from over there and this would have been the whole site. We did this years ago back in the mm -hmm. spring and uh, there was a lady who I was still with their kids and she her mom used to work here uh -huh. uh, years ago and she talked about how, you know, she would be down on the second floor and, you know, you know, the hear things and the seats, you know, and she yeah. she would and in fact that day you know, how many years later, she wouldn't come up here. She was like, y'all can really? there, but I'm not going. I heard something one time, you know. I mean, I Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's kind of a thing. Gives you a creepy feel. Well, I, was just, I got to work here for a while, and it was so nice. Pretty, pretty creepy when you come out early in the morning. Yeah. It's still almost dark, and you're here by yourself. You know? Oh, yeah. You know, I never since people Nothing. always <laughs> asked me to, oh, there goes Sam. I said, I don't think so. They all went to Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they followed everybody. <laughs> yeah, oh. I was thinking, my friend makes them. That is. You take the paper and you make yes, them. Yes, I think it's 26 them. points or more. It's a lot of points. Wow. Aren't they beautiful? But uh, she shot, we had a... All the decorations Maybe. that you see are Moravian decorations. Okay. The missionaries that were here, not actually not, not far from the house, they were just down yes. the hillside, about a quarter mile, were uh, Moravians, and, mm -hmm. and they did celebrate Christmas in the home. It was a big deal for them to be allowed to be here. Now, as far as we know, the first Christians inside the Cherokee Nation really? were invited to stay. That's and nice. They expanded that. That's one of the two reasons that he's well known. And they... Where is the cemetery at you were talking about? Um, where you see the cars there, that yeah. is uh, Highway 52. Uh -huh. And if you can see through there, it's about a quarter mile. Oh, okay. It's off on your right. They found it a, 10 or 15 years ago. The oh. University of North Carolina came out and did ground penetrating radar. All of the headstones were lost. Oh, okay. Um, so the headstones are not there, but the people are in there. They oh. can see them. And they're, um, a lot of the 
names that you get to know here if you have time to read the diaries and yeah are, are buried there at Cherokees it's uh -huh. a mixed race oh so it's Cherokees and some of the slaves oh okay. Cherokee and the Moravian missionaries Moravians. who were European oh. all in the same they're all in there Very oh unusual. did they ever yeah. discover like what the name of it was or they didn't have no idea because they didn't even realize it was a cemetery it was a it was a plowed field for many years oh when they found it the, the farmer donated that day oh cool god's acre oh it was, the, it, it was the moravians the missionaries that were here yeah they did it and oh uh, wow cool so it was lost Neat in time and then they found it about 15 years ago wow that's right. amazing thanks <laughs> Ooh, there's so many yeah, I had to turn this light on when we went to the Larry house in Huntsville. There were never Nobody could see. There were never dungeons oh, down here. This was only ever for food preservation. Yes, she's not going to leave right now. She said there were any ghosts. Oh, there were zero ghosts here. Can you see, Joe? Yeah. So many people are so desperate for me to tell them there's ghosts. What do you want me to say? <laughs> that the Trail of Tears souls are rolling the whole Yeah. Right here. <laughs> The, there was never anybody kept in a dungeon here. I've spoken to every manicure who has ever worked here. Uh, none of them have had any weird experiences. Um, but I mean, again, we are affiliated with both the Eastern and Western band of the Cherokee Nation. So what am I going to do? Hold a ghost tour for the yeah. the presidents of the Cherokee Nation? The yeah. drinking chiefs? That would be so insulting. Uh, um, so no, we not only do we not hold ghost tours here for that insulting reason, but we also have, oh my God, just no experiences to tell anybody. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this was for food preservation, and really the only people who would have been coming down here would have been slaves. Yeah. Um, we also know that right next to the house, there was a potato crib, a corn crib, and a, um, a smokehouse. So there was more food preservation. We also know the Moravians had a spring house where they kept their dairy and their cheeses, because you know what, that's a little hut, it's right over a freshwater mm. spring. Now what you're seeing here is the original dirt floors, and in the interior room there, uh, you can see the original brick. We don't know when this stucco was added, but it's not original to the house, uh, to the vans. And also, uh, since that interior room would have been the colder of the two rooms, we think that's where James kept his whiskey. Because we know oh. we kept a lot of whiskey down here. That was written about by the Moravians, who highly disapproved of it. <laughs> In fact, we know that for one instance, James Van held, hosted a stickball tournament, and those could last for days, of course. So we, uh, we I'll heard that he put a lock on the root cellar to keep the Native Americans out of his whiskey. But according to the Moravians, <laughs> his, the lock was broken, his whiskey was gone, and he threw a rage fit. So <laughs> it was never a dull moment when James was around. Now when Joseph was here, of course, it was much more lighthearted. He was a very good businessman, uh, clean and sober, <coughs> helping his kids all the time. The Moravians document seeing him with his kids at the springs with his kids doing business. So very much a night and day difference. Wow. Do we know who, because um, John was asking this too, who James's mother was? What nationality yes. was she? James's uh, mother was a full-blooded Cherokee woman named okay. Wally. Now his father was actually a Scotsman yeah. named Joseph Van. But now mm -hmm. Joseph either died or there was a divorce and Wally remarried Joseph's brother, whose name was also James Clement Van. So James oh, wow. Clement is actually James Van's technically stepfather. But every generation names their kids the same thing. So we got right. Joseph James, James Joseph, and then oh, every wow. one of them named their daughters Delilah. Every one of them had a Polly. Two of James's consorts were both named Betsy. So uh, we see these same names being rehashed with every family and every generation. That's what I run into when I try to do my ancestry online. Everybody has the same name, and I'm like, okay, is this this one, or is it this one? Or? Quite complicated. Oh, so hard. But I if they only knew. Upstairs, and they said, Josephine, James' son, to mother, Joseph, mm -hmm. and they was full-blooded Cherokee Indian. Joseph, the son of James, yes, he had two wives, actually. One of them would have lived in the house here, and he built the other one a house just north James of here. James' wife that had Joseph. Yes, he had, uh, Nancy was Joseph's mother. Nancy Brown did not live in this house, and if she wasn't full-blooded, she was at least half. We really are 100% sure, but remember, at the time of James Van's death, the James Van who built this house, at the time of his death, he had upwards of 11 kids by at least seven different women. We oh, wow. keep track of them. 
Um, and Joseph, at the time of his death, had upwards of 15 kids by these two different women. Uh, so the bands did their part to overpopulate the planet, that's for sure. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's, it's a bit of a complicated story because again, the Moravians were writing about it and they truly didn't really approve of the living situation. So they referred to any woman staying in this house as Mrs. Van. Well, <laughs> what we were trying to clear up was mm -hmm. that Joseph Van, the son, did not look a lot Indian. But then his father was only a half Indian. True. And we were trying to figure out if his mother was Indian or why. Wally was full-blooded Native American. Okay. Her son, James, then would have been half Native American, half Scottish. Okay. And we do not know what James Van looked like. There are no existing portraits of the man who built this house that are at least none of that have been authenticated by the okay. character or by staff here. We have a written description of him, that he was fair-skinned, dark-haired, European in both manner and dress. But he was raised by a full-blooded Native American woman, so he was, we know from their diaries, well-versed in Native American heritage, and they did hold ceremonies here, they had stickball tournaments. Um, uh, so we have one portrait of Joseph, and the mantle painting you saw in the dining room is based on that. And we know it's authentic because uh, it's from a newspaper talking about his obituary. So we have one authentic portrait of Joseph Van. But um, no pictures of his wife? No, none of the wives. Some of the kids, though. Now, in our museum, in the museum you first came in, <coughs> one of the panels does have portraits of some of his kids. Okay. Um, but we do have just the one picture of Joseph. Really nothing more than a written description of James. But remember, the Cherokee were matrilineal. So what that really means is you trace your lineage through the mother, and your kids are raised in the home of your mother. Oh. If your that's mother the way Hispanic people do, too. Well, because yeah. at that time, you could not prove paternity. Oh. So the only way to guarantee blood heritage was to trace it through the mother. And also in that day, women owned the homes women raised the kids. So if your mother was a bear clan and your father was a wolf clan, you were a bear clan. Um, and sons could inherit a title, but their kids would not because their kids are not their kids. Uh, so to say that James, is, a lot of times we know that James was recognized as full-blooded Native American, but only because his mother was full-blooded Native American. But he lived heavily with a European lifestyle, as we can see. But he was by his people, truly he was half blood, but by his people standards, he was full blooded Native American. Makes sense. But we see that going away because, of course, he left everything to his second son, <coughs> Joseph, which infuriated all of his other consorts and wives, of course, um, because they're daughters that should have inherited things. Uh, so we do see this patriarchy moving in. We see that a lot with the missions, too. The Moravians taught proper European gender roles. So you sow, you plow. Um, so we do see that happening in the early 1800s here. We, we can go whenever you're ready, Daddy. <coughs> Kitchen workhouse. Uh. Y'all been to the house? <laughs> yeah. Take some, I guess. Oh, thank you. Those little cookies. Truck that needs a little help to get out of the mud. Uh oh, got somebody stuck. Good job, right? Somebody's She's a spirit.